happen here at Mercedes-Benz Stadium in the heart of Georgia. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Green Bay Packers and the Atlanta Falcons. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready, it looked, for that run pass option. You get the sense that next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one, huh? the pickup of four here second and six and he's gonna lose yardage and be backed up to the 25 They'll wind up losing three, and now it's third down. This defense is a difficult one to prepare for, one of the best in the league. They'll come at you from all angles, and they did a nice job there stopping him for a loss. So now an early third and ten here on their opening drive. From the shotgun, it's Winston. He gets it to Brown, complete. And he's going to have a Falcons first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 14 yards there and a Falcon first down. And getting this just shy of midfield, they spotted at the 49. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. First down. First and 10 at the 49-yard line. will be taken across midfield and into Green Bay territory. The tackle made. The corner, Perry Nickerson had the tackle. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. Wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. got four now they deal with a second and six gonna give this time to the tailback three yards is half of what they needed now can they get the other three here on third down 
some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. And they'll run the option on third and short yardage. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. Just a one-yard pickup there, and it'll be fourth down. Now, that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy's nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. And on their first drive, the offense staying out there. They're going to go for it on fourth. Working out of the gun, Winston. And my goodness, this is incomplete. Boy, it looked like he had it and dropped it. And this defense delivers a turnover on downs on the very first drive of the afternoon. Loving the Packers now with a first and 10 at their own 42. Working out of the gun. Love. Open man is Kirk complete. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Defensively here, you're facing a top five team in terms of points scored in the NFL. So when they're that high powered, you've got to find a way to hold them under 20. Because to me, that's the magic number. 20 points scored gives yourself you give yourself your best chance to win. So if they're up around 24, 28, 30, they could be in some trouble. I think so, because then you turn it into a shootout. And that means your offense has to keep pace. That one a first down pickup of eight. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run and let's face it it shouldn't be a surprise he's one of the better backs in the league had to come into this game with the idea slow him down otherwise it's going to be a long afternoon and they'll keep on the ground with Jones and he's able to carve out about six there down to the 37 this running game so important for them and they know that it helped lead them to a victory last week when he was over 100 yards let's face it it's their identity and that's what they want to play to they want to be that team that runs the ball really well each and every week and right now we're seeing a pretty good pattern of that happening the last run got six now second and four Here's Love. That's taken in by the tight end, Josiah DeGuara. And this time, not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. And he's going to be out down inside the 20 at the 15. Now those linemen, of course, can't be more than a yard downfield when a pass is thrown, and they might have been able to call that on a couple of guys there. After the penalty, it's Jones. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. That good for 19 and a first down. That's a very nice game there. A confidence building run. Love the execution up front and the way he pressed the hole. Absolutely perfect. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Here's 
Here's Jones. No dice this go around. He's hit behind the line and taken down. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. That's the end of the first quarter. No score after one on EA Sports. That loss of three, a rare stumble on a promising drive. Here's second and 13. Play fake. Here's Love. And he's wrapped up. Taken down. Back at the 25. Dante Fowler able to record his fifth sack of the season. But nothing takes a start to have a good drive quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? No, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. And now they're looking for 19 yards here on third down following two negative plays. Love looking to throw it. This one complete to Devin Funches. And he'll go down here at the 12 yard line. 14 yards is the pick up there, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. But it brings up fourth down. So on now for the Packers at their all time leading scorer, Mason Crosby. A 29 yard attempt. And Crosby puts it through. And the Packers are off to a 3 0 lead. So, still no touchdowns in the first half, but we do have some action on the scoreboard with the field goal. So, maybe now the mentality changes in this game because anytime you can get to the red zone and if you don't come away with six points, you feel like it's a disappointment. In a game like this one, being able to kick field goals means you're right there and then you're just looking for that big break to take you over the top. The Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. And on that last drive, went for it on fourth, turned it over. A good job by their defense, though. They held them to three, but this offense, they've got to be a little bit better, a little bit more careful here. And sometimes when you see these calls on fourth down when they decide to go for it, it's not necessarily the coach saying, I believe in my offense. Sometimes the coach saying, I believe in my defense. I can afford to go for it here because if we don't get it, I don't think we'll give up more than three. And that's exactly what happened You think there. that factored in? I do. I think that he had that in his mind going into the game, that I'm going to be aggressive on offense because I know I've got a defense that can hold up their end. Now a handoff here to his running back. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. That was a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. They stay on the ground. This time it's Johnson. And he's got this pretty close to a first down as the tackle is made at the Packers 35. They get six on the pick up there as the drive will continue. Five yard line. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Now a handoff looking right, and he'll be taken down at the 34. The ball carrier. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line. It's a loss of a yard, so it's back to third and ten. It's now third and ten. Ready! 
Black 25! Wait, 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 wait! Play action now, Winston. Green Bay up to the task there in coverage and forcing a fourth down. It certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. And this will split the uprights. It's right down the middle. And that will tie us at 3-3. Three, three. These kickers now used to be that a 50-plus yarder was cause for celebration. Now seemingly automatic. Yeah, isn't it funny? When we prepare for a game, when you look at the backgrounds of these kickers, it's interesting, isn't it, to find out they were all-state quarterbacks, receivers, defensive backs, all-state wrestlers, right? Baseball players. We're finding athletes all along, and now they're just specialists putting it through the posts. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And it's only November, but the playoffs, we know how it works. They'll be here before you know it. If it ended today, they would be the number one seed. And that's a great spot to be in, but I love the phrase, if it ended today. And I'll guarantee you, that's what they've discussed in their locker room, in their meeting rooms. Yeah, we know where we'd be if it ended today, but we also know it's not ending today. Right. So they've got to continue to play the type of ball that put them in the spot where they're number one in their conference. And a good swarm to the football defensively as they get him down at about the 40. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Love from the gun. Out of the backfield, this is Aaron Jones. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Give this one to Jones. Fighting throw. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. Taken down at the 43-yard line. It's a gain of eight. Brings up second and two. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. I will remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll join Jonathan Coachman and the gang in Orlando. Coach will have stats and scores from the early games going on here around the NFL. Just a couple on the pickup there, and now it's third down. The good run on first down followed up by a not-so-good run on second down. Now let's find out they're going to stick with the run here on third down. A lot of people would love to see some play action here. I say go with your best running play over your best block. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. Taken down at the Just a one-yard pickup on the play, and it'll move the chains. First down. They go play action here on first down. Man open, that's Calvin Ridley. And he will get this into the end zone. Touchdown, Green Bay. Touchdown. Calvin Ridley, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Packers have taken the lead. Mason on is Mason Crosby, Crosby for the point after. And it is up. The kick is good. And it's good. That'll make our score 10 to 3 now. Falcons 3. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Fielded in the end zone. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line, so bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision. Loses him about four yards. A 
About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. And you know, it's certainly a lot of football left to play. We're not into December yet, but right now where we stand, they're in first place in their division, looking really good and looking to be a threat come January. And are you one of those early holiday shoppers, partner? Are you one of those guys get your list done? Because I think about what every team has on their holiday shopping list right now. What's the number one goal? Make the playoffs. Number two, win your division. Number three, and I think the biggest goal of all, try to get the number one seed so you get that first round bye and ensure you don't have to go anywhere in January and hopefully get to the Super Bowl that way. They follow up the first down one yard run with a minimal gain of two. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. From the gun, Winston. And that is incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. That's an excellent job right there on third down. Like any defense, you never want to let them get anything started. And that would have been a first down. Instead, you saw the contact on time, no penalty. And before this drive could get wings, it's fourth down. It's a return of five following a punt of 42 yards. And control of the football switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. You've got less than 30 seconds left here in the half. You're well on your own side of the field. What are we doing here, Coach Davis? Well, I'm trying something on first down. And it's something that's safe. It's something that's been done many times before. A lot of people say it's not even worth trying, but I'm running a draw. I'm running a screen. I'm seeing if something pops. And if it does, that can alter my strategy and potentially get me some points. And if it doesn't work, well, then you just run the clock out and go to the locker room. First down, love to pass. And now look at this, big game and a fumble. And the Falcons grab it. Love's pass complete. A fumble on the play. Recovered by the Falcons. The Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 39. And he will be brought down as time has now run out on this first half of action. We have hit halftime. Still two more quarters to go. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back after this. You're watching the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. It's in the game. So it's the Packers set to receive the kick. They've got the lead as well as we are underway in the third quarter. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And last drive, obviously not what you're looking for. You've got the lead. You've got to protect the football. So in other words, someone got lucky because they've been moving the ball really well and wearing them down. In this case, though, giving up the football doesn't make them very happy. They can't wait to get back out there and atone for it. Yeah, try to atone for it here on this drive. Love now on second down. That's going to be caught by Kirk. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. It's a first down, his fourth catch of the game after having three in the first half. This is Jones. 
And he's over midfield and into Falcon territory. Aaron Jones, the ball carrier. Five yards on the carry. He's good pickup on first down. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. Now a second down throw for Love here. Setting up the screen here, Aaron Jones. And they go backwards here, losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. Well, if you're going to turn things around in a game like this, Charles, those are the kind of plays that you need. And I just love the way that defense rallied to the football on that one. They got the completion, but he was smothered behind the line of scrimmage. And when you make tackles like that, your whole defense is going to be fired up. Really nice play getting to the ball. An important play right here, third and ten. And I would expect pressure here. On third down, Love. He's got a first down and then some inside the 40. And finally brought down at the 31-yard line. Great way to convert on third down there. 21 yards the play. From Falcon territory now, here's first and 10. Down at the 31. Out of the shotgun, it's Love. He's going to go deep for Funches. Oh, he had six points in his hands there. Couldn't hang on. Second down. I think that was good strategy there, trying to go right back to him after the last completion. But this time, the defense was all over it, and they got there to break that one up. Line of scrimmage, the 31 as they line up, second and 10. again. Love. Looking for Funches, but it's intercepted. Picked off at the 14. And he will take this across midfield and down to the 48-yard line. So it was a drive that had real promise here to begin the third quarter, but ultimately derailed by the INT. And that was the position you wanted to be in, coming out to start this third quarter, get a nice drive going, looking for the end zone. Possibly got a little bit too greedy right there. Going to give this time to the tailback. And now nothing but green ahead of him. Touchdown, Falcons. A big play there with touchdown number 12 on the year. And the Falcons are an extra point away from tying the football game. I guess when you look back on it, it was just a matter of time until he popped a big one like that. And, you know, at halftime, you and I discussed it. They had done a nice job on him in the first half. But there were a couple of occasions where it felt like he might wiggle out of traffic and take it to the house. Finally here in the second half, that got done. And he'll put it through, and that evens us up at 10 apiece. Sterling Buckrichter to kick off. Nothing separating these two teams on the scoreboard as the kick's away here. Fields it in the middle of the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. At their own 23-yard line. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. They had the interception on the last drive, which led to the tying touchdown. So 10-10 the score as they begin first and 10. They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. This has certainly been a physical game so far. Limited scoring opportunities for both sides. And there's another chance that goes unfulfilled. On second down, Love once more. Steps away to his left. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. Josiah DeGuara, the intended receiver. And it's third down. They well, certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield. But they never did. So back. 
back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. To throw now. Here's Love. And able to find Kirk complete. And he is going to have a Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 27 yards there on a very nice third down conversion. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And he gets this one to Ridley complete. And he will go out right near the 35-yard line. That's over 40 yards of movement with those last two plays. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Jones. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. From the gun, Love. And the Falcons get there. The Falcons get the sack. Down he goes. Dante Fowler in there to get him, and that is sack number six now for him on the year. It's third down. Third and long. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. And that will be incomplete. Good coverage that time by the linebacker, Deion Jones. And that's a nice job there because you've got to play the ball, not the man winning coverage. That'll keep you away from a lot of needless penalties. And he's able to knock that one away. He punted five times in the win last week as this one's away. And they'll play keep away from the returner as this one will be marked out of bounds at the 13-yard line. Pretty good spot. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons' offense at the line. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and ten. Now a handoff here to his running back. And a nice gain there as he'll be taken down just shy of the 20. The tackle made by Kevin. Now, Brandon, that's the way you want to run the football. There should almost be quote bubbles above the offense right now. Bam, boom, biff. That's how they feel good about moving the football. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Jameis to throw it. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets his football out shy of the 30 to the 29. It's a first down on a gain of 10. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Now they try the right side here. And this will go for five up to the 33. Number one decided to hand it off that time on the run pass option. Appeared to be an easy decision. Just gave it inside. Nice steady gain. Second and five at the 33 yard line. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Edo Smith, his first carry. And this will be a Falcons first down as he's got this up to the 40-yard line. But well, that was a unit that understood exactly where the first down marker was, handed it to their guy who could run it, created some space, and he got there. A couple of first downs have him to the 40 now on first and 10. 
They'll run it here with Smith. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. Rashawn Gary on the tackle. A seven-yard pickup brings up second and three at the 47-yard line. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Three yards remain for second down. Here's Johnson. And he'll get it out to midfield. Let's see, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. Some good games going on in the early window. This might be the best of the bunch. Now a handoff looking right, and just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten coming up. Maybe I'm wrong, but it looked like even if he had opted to keep that, I don't think there was going to be much to gain. Seemed like it was perfectly defense, and know what they say. Those guys on the other side, they get paid too. They'll try to throw now, Winston. Screenplay, Johnson. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. 15 yards on the play, first down. And partner in a tie game in the fourth quarter, you and I both know in the NFL, that's when you lean on your stars, and he came through with a nice catch right there. And he'll give it here to his running back. Kenny Clark, the big D tackle there to make the stop. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. On second down, Johnson. And he's got this pretty close to a first down as the tackle is made at the Packers' 23. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. time to the tailback. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And he is into the end zone for a Falcon touchdown. A great play there with his 13th touchdown of the year and second of the game. And the Falcons have broken our tie. He's given him a little jolt, just gave him the lead there, but two TDs now in the game. And that jolt puts them in the lead. What a terrific job by him. He is carrying the ball and simply saying, I want to win. And now he's hoping his defense has that mentality as they try to hang on to that lead. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result that he opted for the touchback. Defensively, you said coming in earlier in the broadcast, the magic number was 20 points for you. That's what you thought they would have to hold this offense to, or, or less than that. And Wow, they've done that in a big way, haven't they? Not only have they done it, they put themselves in a great position to win this one because holding them down was paramount. If they could get it done, well, guess what? We see the end result right now. They have their eye on victory. And leading here in the fourth. They'll get just a yard on the scramble. It's second down. How about a tip of the cap to the defense? They're working against a very mobile quarterback, but all day long they've kept him under wraps. And on that play, they held him to a short gain. Love. They go play action now. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Now, we talk about players blitzing all the time. And laugh and sometimes call just straight ahead pursuit. What a running start right back to the backfield for him. Yeah, it really didn't give anybody a chance to get up there and stop him. No, I mean, that's really, really difficult. You're asking a whole lot anyway, but when he gets that kind of a start and comes through clean, 
oftentimes the advantage definitely goes to the defensive player. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Love. And the throw there going to be incomplete. I like what they tried to do there. Tried to hit him with something quick, get the ball in his hands. They hope he can make some yards after the catch and pick up a first down. Weren't able to do so on that play. Here's J.K. Scott now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Just a two-yard return there following a punt of 48. And the Falcons will be taking over first and 10. out there for their next drive right now clinging to a one score lead Charles and I think operating within that four minute offense with a little less than four minutes to go applies here right it certainly does and that means the playbook is still wide open but you are a little bit more careful about what you're calling you want plays they're going to gain yardage how would you say it consistently mm -hmm. right you don't need the big shots downfield but make sure the clock continues to run pile up the first downs and the goal end the game with your quarterback kneeling down at the end, and you still have the lead. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 11 yards there, first down. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. Now a handoff here to his running back. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts. That's going to leave them with just one remaining here in this fourth quarter. It's on the pickup. It's second and eight. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. his way forward to about the 48-yard line. Now the Packers going to burn their third and final timeout. So that will leave them with no timeouts left. Still plenty of time on the clock. We'll see how that affects things here in this fourth quarter. The Falcons on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third and seven. Winston. Buying time to his left. He can run for it, and he will. And they do get this across midfield of the 49, but a small consolation prize as he's well short of the first. It's fourth down. And no move to get the offense off the field. Despite failing once, they're going to go again here on fourth down. Oh, and now movement and a whistle, and they may have to rethink their plans on fourth down. 
The Falcons send out their punter as he'll kick it away for the second time. This is brought in at the 21. 31 yards on the punt there. And it'll be Packer football here. First down and 10. 26 yard line. Loving the Packers now with a first and 10 at their own 26. He'll set up to throw from the gun. Open man is Kirk complete. Love five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. At the 31-yard line. So it's Packer football here as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Now the second down throw on target. Now the ball comes loose. And the Falcons grab it. And they have the football and it will set up shop at the 33-yard line. And they were hoping to get down there, get the score, and get this thing into overtime. How deflating. Absolutely. I mean, let's face it, heartbreaking. They had an opportunity, had a chance, and probably were feeling pretty good about what was going on. And that was taken away from them by their own mistake. Yeah, the opportunity squashed. Give them three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Well, from an offensive perspective, that was a tough run because he only picked up three yards. But let's flip it over to the defensive side. They now have the advantage. Three three-yard gains. That means they're punting the ball likely on fourth down. That's what you're looking for when you're playing defense. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. Now they're staring at a third and eight. That last play backwards a yard. Get to the 23 here on third. Gonna give this time to the tailback. And they'll get this one down to about the 20 yard line. 10 yards is the pickup there, and that should just about put a bow on this one. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. So time runs out. It's a victory for the Atlanta Falcons. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last point of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, whatever it was, it all came together in the second half, and no points were allowed. That's a great.